Hello everyone, this is Tony. Welcome back to Trophy Food Experiences. Today I'm doing a review of a recent dinner I had at Ban Lao Fine Thai Cuisine. It's located at 4100 Bayview Street in Richmond, BC. It's in the heart of Steveston. And I'm excited because it was um, one of the only Richmond restaurant that was um, listed in uh, the top 100 restaurants in Canada for 2022. It's led by um, Chef Nutsha who has um, trained with um, Pete Michelin star Thai restaurants and re um, chefs that have cooked for uh, Thai royalty. And they recently just changed their menu. So uh, it used to be a very extended menu, but they've just changed their menu for weekdays where they have a shorter menu, which is called the Taste of Ban Lao, which has three seatings a day um, for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sundays, five, o'clock 6 30 and 7 30 and it's about it's several courses and um, it's 150 dollars a person so that's what we had and i'm going to go through the courses with you um, this first dish was just the mousse bouche that they um, sat around just a light um, one biter which uh, started off with nice and citrusy and um, kind of started off the night well it's a pretty extensive menu um, i think it's seven courses and um, but it comes by quickly. We, I think we got out of there in two and a half hours. They also have um, wine pairings and tea pairings. So the mousse bouche is a rice cracker with tomato Thai chili and on top of it is some flowers and then different types of insects. So each person got a little bit of different insect. There was a silkworm, there's a cricket, a grasshopper or a forest scorpion. I don't think anyone got a scorpion. I think this was um, either, I think a cricket. But other people in our table had the were silkworm larvae. Nice dish, very beautiful. You can see all the dishes are really, really elegant and beautiful. The actual insect doesn't taste like much. You actually gets hidden by the taste of the tomato Thai chili. So it's for those people that are kind of um, a little bit uh, cautious about this. You actually can't taste the insect at all. But it is a good source of protein. Next course is one of their appetizer courses, which is pomelo salad with tiger prawn. I really like this. This is one of my favorites. Again, a beautiful presentation. The pomelo salad is nice and citrusy and fresh. I love pomelo. The tiger prawn was um, done to perfection. So really enjoyed it. Um, the place is nice and clean. It is kind of quiet and uh, they've only been open for about a year and a half. Um, the service is is friendly I would say um, but uh, kind of a little quiet it kind of makes you a little bit um, defensive a little it's it's not casual it's it's pretty uh, I guess it's fine dining but it, it's not casual at all which doesn't really match with the Steveston um, setting a little bit um, and uh, the you know I thought actually they were using white gloves for everything but it seemed like they were slippery it would seem like maybe the wrong type of glove it was like cotton it seemed like there were some problems kind of handling things so um, anyways the service was was friendly and there was nothing bad about it at all next was the grilled organic bean tenderloin with Thai chili beautiful dish again um, beautiful plating um, so the beef tenderloin was good I thought uh, the dish was okay and so uh, the taste was you know, good. Uh, I, I actually preferred the pomelo salad and tiger cron a little bit more, but um, you know, it's a nice starter dish as an appetizer. This was the palate cleanser, which is lemongrass, pandan, and butterflies. So um, supposedly there was a syringe filled with uh, freshly squeezed lime juice, and when you inject it, the color tr um, transitions. I actually probably didn't do it quite correctly. I was looking for a more dramatic transition. It's kind of turns from light blue to dark blue. So maybe the effect wasn't as um, good as I thought it would be, or maybe I wasn't doing it correctly, but um, the end product is pretty nice. Um, and then the actual drink itself was um, actually on the light side. So it was uh, tasted kind of fresh, but didn't really taste that citrusy to me. But uh, again, the presentation is beautiful. Now into the main dishes. This is the mangrove bat tiger prawn pad thai. I thought this was a lo lovely dish. It was the most substantial dish of the, the pad thai. It was quite filling. Um, 
Again, the use of prawns was nice. There's a lot of prawns in Thai cooking, so um, if you're not uh, you know, into seafood, maybe that's a little bit of a difficulty, but um, that was quite a filling dish. It was a nice dish. We did also have the tea pairing for $60, and I think you can just um, just have the uh, just have some good teas. I actually couldn't tell the difference um, in terms of the, the different teas. Maybe I'm just not skilled enough, but I didn't see um, how they really paired that much with the food. Uh, there wasn't a huge difference in teas. There was there were lighter teas and darker teas, but um, I think if I had to do it again, I'd just grab some tea or grab um, you know a glass of wine or or a bottle of wine. This was also a very nice dish. This is the wild sockeye salmon green curry with organic jasmine and rice berry rice. I didn't catch a picture of the rice, uh, but they give you two little clumps of rice, which go very well with the curry sauce. I really love the green curry sauce. Um, not too spicy, but um, it had some heat on it. Uh, so I thought I really enjoyed that spice and the green curry with the rice. The sockeye salmon was um, okay. It was well, neither here nor there. It was, you know, a lot of places cook very good um, salmon. So, um, I think it was good, and um, but I really liked the curry sauce. That was a highlight for me. Then we get to a palate cleanser, which is the Roselle Sorbet. It is very, uh, they did warn us, this is very, very acidic. So you, you should just kind of shave off a little bit at a time. Um, and now we're getting to dessert. So it's not, uh, although there's lots of courses, they're all really bite-sized and not too heavy. Um, that's good for some people. Some people just like small bites of things, but some people who want a more substantial meal might um, be a little disappointed uh, with the amount of food. This is the first dessert, which is Kai Nao Mayo Mang, ice cream gathi and wun gathi. So it's sticky rice, um, which is, and then there's a coconut glutinous rice also, um, and then um, a rosette on top of the sticky rice, which is hand carved fresh mangoes. And then there is a house made coconut milk, milk ice cream and a wound gathi, a coconut milk jelly. So if you like coconut, this is a great dish. I'm not a great fan of coconut, but I did like the um, mangoes, the fresh mangoes, the worst were very nice with the um, sticky rice. Um, Again, nice dessert, but again, if you don't like mangoes, it's not um, really up, gonna be up your alley. Then we ended with seasonal fruits and lup chuck, which is um, a, it's, it's a similar taste to marzipan. So that's the little, um, it looks like the pepper, but actually it's basically marzipan. So that's kind of neat. And then they also ended the night with mint tea. Um, all in all, a nice menu. Uh, I will say that um, there are things, you know, like coconut and prawns, and there's not a lot of substitutions can, that can be made. So if you are kind of a picky eater, that this might be an issue. Um, if you don't have a lot of uh, Thai food and you want in a full time, full like, on experience that's pretty high end, I think this is a pretty nice place. It's a very nice place. It's very high end. Um, they do a lot of uh, explaining. There's lots of interesting ingredients. So for an adventure, I think it is uh, pretty neat. Um, I'm not sure, again, um, that I would put it in the top 100 of Canada, but um, it is a very unique restaurant. And um, for that uniqueness, I think it should be applauded. Until next time, happy eating.